This is a 78 uh, Shellac record. That's uh, Bransby Williams, who was famed for his uh, amazing readings of monologues. And uh, he also did uh, lots of the works of, uh, of uh, Charles Dickens to uh, Wax Cylinder and later on to 78 RPM. And uh, even did some early television as well. He appeared in movies, silent movies, etc. And uh, was a famous actor. He came from Hackney in East London, not very far away from where I'm living myself. And uh, this one's called The Difference. So let's uh, fire away and have a listen. Excuse me, Mr. Lardy Dar, if I sit next to you. That I shan't contaminate you with me clothes. I'm pretty well particular what I sit and do. And I don't mix with society, Lord knows. Oh, lovers, you're a blooming top. White specs and all complete. I wonder what it's like to be a nut. To get up when you think you will, and eat just what you like, and keep a blooming flunky on the strut. Go out with all them ladies what dance in them reviews, and take them out to supper and a drive. Oh, if I had just a bit of that, I'd never get the blues. I'd think it was some good to be alive. Here, you needn't get the wind up. I'm as harmless as a cat. And of course, we ain't a-goin' to have a row. But this felt kind of lonely and thought I'd like a chap. Thought I'd got to get a word somehow. Of course, it's plain to see that you're a merchant of the swing. And you're dressed as if you might be Lord De Vere. But there's something though about you makes me feel you ain't a swing. It's something that I think they call sir, um, sincere. Perhaps I'm a bit too saucy. Shouldn't sit with you. Might have sort of bring you to disgrace. For in the little Jutland scrap we had across the sea, a bit of shell busted my ugly face. <laughs> I weren't no beauty for they missed me, back. Ah, well, you and me, we hardly seems to pair. Well, I'm sorry that I spoke to you. I'll clear out right away before them nosy barkers starts to stare. So long, mate. Hello! <laughs> I say, old chappy, don't go yet. I'm feeling lonely too, so never mind the nosy parkers here. I think I heard you say that you were feeling blue. Well, I'm not exactly bubbling with good cheer. My chauffeur will soon be here to take me for a drive. And then I motor to my club, and there I die. Then perhaps the opera to hear my favorite star. And after that, a glass or two of wine. My dear old chap, you'll scarce believe I'm feeling out of date and really can't join in with all the rest. And though to all appearances it must seem really great, I assure you, you enjoy yourself the best. You told me of the naval scrap at Jutland you were in and where you left your pretty looks behind. I, too, was in a little scrap at Cambrai with Lord Bing. My dear old chap, you're better off. I'm blind. It's nice, wasn't it? It's all about... Uh assuming when you meet somebody uh, on appearances how they may be and the difference, uh, the social difference, but uh, who was the better one off in the end? Right, here's the other side of uh, this Columbia record of uh, Bransby Williams and it's called Not Old. Ain't as thick as it used to be. 
<laughs> but there's plenty of it yet. I haven't a wrinkle or line, except in just here and there. And once in a while, the gals give me a smile. Hehe, <laughs> I believe it's me curly hair. Then look at me figure. Straight as a die, nearly, if not quite. And me hands as steady as, as, as anything. And I simply got wonderful sight. Now, what's the time? Hmm? I, oh, I can't quite see. It must be the light that's queer. But me hearing's fast, right? Hey, I believe it stopped. Blessed if I can hear the tick. No, <laughs> it's going all right. I can see the wheels go round. Eyes sharp, ears keen, straight as a dot. In wind and limb all sound. It's only a little while ago I ran with a pipe slipper. The longer the hounds across country. Sounds nobody to keep me back. Hey, only a short time ago, over Hill and Dale, I ran seven miles or more. And was in at the death. And not out of breath. Hey, the date. Oh, about uh, 1864. Hmm. What matters the number of years you live, so long as you're young at heart? Compared to some of them biblical chaps, I'm a youngster, so to speak. Like my little granddaughter, Rosie Bell, who comes of age next week. We're giving a ball. What's my call to celebrate the thing? Hmm. <laughs> I'll start them, them, them so-called young men. I'll give them the island fling. Yes, <laughs> I, 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 I think I've forgotten the steps a bit. And I kind of want something to hold. <laughs> I get a bit stiff in the joints, perhaps. But, dammy, not old. No, <laughs> not old. <laughs> nice wasn't it yes age is just a number Pransby Williams is a very interesting character uh, he's got a lovely little biography you can buy quite cheaply on uh, Amazon or eBay as well and uh, he, he as I say lived uh, on until the uh, mid 60s and uh, he was even there's even a surviving uh, the, uh, Desert Island Discs that you can listen to on the Desert Island Discs uh, podcast page of uh, you know the, of the uh, BBC uh, website and uh, I, I find that one the most interesting of all the Desert Island Discs because Franz Williams was really a man from a different time he was a, a real pioneer of uh, early recording, voice recording and uh, and you know, had a real love for literature and monologues and uh, such an interesting character came from very poor beginnings in Hackney never lost his Cockney accent and yet he could do you know, he could do uh, Cockney, posh, he could do the whole lot he was, and um, was a, high, a highly regarded actor so, thanks for listening. Bye for now.